So tonight, I don't know why, I just randomly decided to stalk my ex to see what he's been up to lately. Um, I blocked him on Instagram, so I had to literally use my other account to stalk him. And then I found out this picture of him and this girl. And then, yeah, they're definitely dating. And then I thought I'm like completely like done with him, but it just hit me so hard. And I'm, I'm devastated. Like right now, I'm just so sad. And I don't understand how he could just like move on so fast. It's only been three or four months like after our breakup and I'm still grieving over here. And then he just like completely moved on with someone new, like to start this like full on relationship. And then, which makes me doubt myself, which makes me comparing myself to the girl. Like, why did he choose her instead of me? And it really also got me thinking, were they a thing? while we were still dating? Like, how long has this been going on? I don't know. 17 and a half years married, four kids. I begged this man, begged this man. Please, Ken, I've never been out of the US. Can we please go out of the US? Can I want to experience something new. Uh, can we travel? Can we do something? No, no. I get a text from him five minutes ago. What does it say? Hey, I need your permission. It's in the planning, but me and Aaron, his fiance, are taking her kids and wanna, he wants to take Kylie to Mexico for spring break. <laughs> and I said, because um, he needs my permission to do that. And I said, absolutely, it's a great experience for her. Just please watch her, um, have fun and be safe. It's really, really hard for me because it's like 17 and a half years, four kids, and I begged you, I begged you to take us or to take me and to do those kinds of trips and, and to spend that kind of time with us. And it was always no. And now you're giving this woman everything that I begged you for. Everything I begged you for, you were giving to her. People do that because they want to feel heard. And they want to know that they're validated for feeling the way that they're feeling that it's not right and it isn't okay. And it confirms my choice to divorce was right. Even though I'm the one that was shamed and I'm the one that lost friends of 15 years because they didn't want to be associated with me anymore because I walked away. This video is about post-wall divorced women surprised to find out that the happiness they seek has been found by their ex-husband and they are terribly jealous. The way reality dawns on these bunch of modern women after they have thrown their chances away intrigues me. While I was watching the first video, I noticed the way she took so long to admit that she wants her husband back because she is still struggling with accepting her failure and how unhappy she is. She still talks with pride, but if she had so much respect for herself, why did she divorce in the first place? These modern women throw away their rings and commitment then they go on a long anticipated journey of pleasure with Chad. After Chad has had a good fill of her, he dumps her and then she goes for Tyrone and he also takes her on an escapade of amusement and he then lets go of her too. Then she quickly realizes that all that the dating world has to offer is an incredibly increased body count and nothing more. She tries to look back and only to see that her ex-husband is happy and they get jealous and sob on the internet about how unfair it is for him to quickly move on and be happy and they wish that the happiness he has should be them, not him. It is ridiculous because this is the same approach they had towards their marriage, thinking their marriage revolves around them and it should be all about them. There are several things that surprise me about these modern women, like the woman in the first video. How dumb are you to think you can come out of over a decade of marriage and expect to find happiness in the streets? I think these women have the stupidest advisors including their online moral supporters. How come women that are 40 plus get told to divorce their husband and they will find their peace and happiness? Are these women blind to things happening in society? Ladies in their early 30s are having a hard time getting husbands and you are here joining the bandwagon. Well I don't pity modern women. These women often fail to realize that men and women are different. While a woman's prime starts pretty earlier than men. It quickly declines as well. This includes everything from beauty to fertility, strength, and so on. And it is at this time that women need companionship the most because they are entering into the resting phase. But for a man, he is still responsive and active even till his 60s and beyond. And it is not surprising when you see divorced men in their 40s 
getting married to an even younger girl. And then, you see these modern women who filed the divorce, gets into deeper depression and come over to the internet to lament how much they miss their husband and want him back, because he is happy. If modern women get to calm down, look around, and check the statistics before they make a divorce decision, they will think properly and go a different direction, and then they stay happier. I believe that if a woman shuts down her marriage after decades without a key reason of either abuse or infidelity, she should be given the most irresponsible woman award. She should be asked how many times she has worked on her marriage to fix things instead of putting all the blame on the man and just bailing out. Then how dare modern women question the happiness of their ex-husbands? Over the years, I have not seen any man who was divorced and had his life go south, go to the internet and cry. A woman will divorce a man and still be the one seeking attention and moral support on the internet and she will not say a single good thing about the man. Men sulk up for a few weeks, even months, get back up and start to piece their lives together and start seeking happiness again. And when they start getting happy and settling down, these women start seeing and they wish he was finding that happiness with them. Well, it is safe to say that these women were even the major source of the man's sadness when this man was with them. But a man will always take responsibility and try his best to fix the marriage. Think about it. If the man you divorced is now happy and doing well, don't you ever think that the same way you felt pathetic with him was the same? He felt pathetic with you? The fact that he is now happy does not necessarily mean he changed anything about himself, but his newfound woman is different from you because she does not nag. She does not make him feel less of a man, and she does not make him feel like she is trying to control him. After you have shown a man how wicked you can be, and how easy it was for you to throw everything you had together away and expect him to be miserable, that's unfair. Today's video is about a modern woman who found out her husband is happy after she divorced him and she is jealous of him. Let's read some comments from the video. Husband. We can't do expensive vacations until I am established in my career and the kids are older wife. Divorces husband before he's established husband. Takes fiance on expensive vacation after becoming established wife. Why would my husband do this to me? This is hilarious, isn't it? That woman in the particular video is still after what she gets from the marriage, not what she can offer it. Imagine breaking up with someone, blocking them, then stalking them on Instagram then posting reaction videos on TikTok for the world to see. It is really about attention. Those tears aren't for her husband. Those are tears of jealousy because another woman got to go. To conclude in this video, post-wall divorced women being jealous of their ex-husband is proof of the disorder in the thought process of modern women. They deserve to be jealous and be in that position. They asked for it. That's all for today on Latest Juice. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like my previous videos. Don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it. Thanks for watching.